Rolling on here with our hot, House of Hockey report via Trib Live Radio. Guy Junker, Tim Benz, 25th anniversary for House of Hockey. and pleased to be joined right now by former Pittsburgh Penguin Mike Rupp, now with the NHL Network. NHL tonight before and after the Penguins games throughout the course of the Stanley Cup final against the San Jose Sharks. Welcome back to town, Mike. Oh, thanks for having me back. Great to be back, especially under these circumstances, seeing the team rolling and looking good. It's good you look tan. I am tan. What's like- that from? Cutting the grass, man. The weather's been nice. <laughs> a guy yeah. from Cleveland. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you know, exactly. From Cleveland, from Pittsburgh, when you get sun, you got to take advantage of it. It's good to see it. Looks like you can still play. Uh, watching good these shape. games are tough. Yeah, you, if I, I want to still play. It's, like if uh, Cullen retires, you can jump back on the fourth line? Or? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. But, uh, yeah, the, you know what? It, I love seeing these stages. I mean, I think that, that that's the hardest thing is when you see these stages and you just get antsy. I just start pacing around uh, prior game, the pregame show, and uh, you just you start seeing that excitement building. That's what I miss the most. I mean, the regular season, I haven't really thought twice about it. I like doing this uh, on this side. and. Uh, but these things are, are special. Speaking of Cullen, we've you know covered Gary Roberts and Bill Guerin, guys who got a lot of mileage out of the Brian end, of their, yeah, yeah. end of their yeah. careers. But I keep hearing over and over again, even though he's not the most built, ripped, even big guy, the state that Matt Cullen keeps his body in, and it certainly has translated this year. How much do you know about him, and what has he done training-wise, technique-wise, to still have the burst that he's got at 40 years old? Yeah, I, I played with Cullen in Minnesota Um unbelievable person first of all um but his yeah he just takes good good care of himself and uh the way he can skate is really everything to me because there's no end to what he can do as far as how long he can play because you can skate and he's a very smart player and we saw his uh, some nice goal scoring from from him this year that maybe you haven't seen in the past uh, or at least of, of recent years and uh, he just takes good care of himself and uh, you know I think at that age and I know at my age it's got to be some good eating you got to eat the right way and take care of your body and, and he's done a great job and he's been around for a very long time seems like the uh, the, the Wilkes-Barre contingent has infused some some life into the veterans, too. The yeah, guys. I agree. I agree 100%. And, and it's interesting because you say we look even to last year and with John Cooper and the Tampa Bay Lightning, it's it's really the same thing. Maybe on a different scale because the triplets were so huge for that team and Tampa going to the Stanley Cup Finals. But when you have – I think you're starting to see that a lot now when you get – coaches that are coming up or promoted through the American Hockey League and now they're the head coach they've got their guys they they see them on a day-to-day basis they know what they're getting and they also know that you know those guys are getting an opportunity from them so you're gonna there's a a loyalty there and I think that there's you see it a lot just excitement Uh, it's not one player coming in it's uh, almost like a team of uh, reinforcements that come and they just give you that energy and I thought the Pens have done a great job with that all year um, obviously Brian Russ scoring right now is is fantastic but just the energy level I mean I, there's different times this year where where Tom Kuhnhackle has been unbelievable I thought he's been great um, obviously Connor Sheary and you can you can go up and down and, and these guys that have stepped up so great job they're doing down there in Wilkes it's bugging me out a little bit having you sitting right here and having you over our shoulder on the NHL network. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. You yeah. guys just went to break here, so I'm not sure which Mike Rupp I'm supposed to listen to. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's uh, – you know what? I, I love this. It's fun because you, you get to uh, – you know, I, I ran into on the media day, get to see some old buddies, got to talk to, to Sid, who I think the world of um, off the ice as well as on the ice, and just catch up with those guys and watch it. And on the flip side, too, getting to talk with Joe Thornton I mean unbelievable guy I mean unbelievable there's there's of course I played for the Pens I'd love to see them hoisting the cup this year but there's no team in this series that I you know San Jose great storylines there um, seeing a, a Joe Thornton or a Patrick Marlowe winning the cup would be unbelievable too well did you know you wanted to do this after playing I mean we covered you I think we all you were very media friendly media guy, guys yeah. is this something you wanted to do for a long time um you yeah, I, I, I just—I've always been—I've been a um, sports talk radio nerd as a kid. Like I yeah. just listen to sports talk. I love it. I mean, I—I I listen and 
Um, I've been a fan of all sports and um, uh, just have always felt that I can, uh, I loved having those kind of conversations, whether you're, you're sitting around uh, having a beer or you're just hanging out and just uh, talking about whatever. I mean, I'm from Cleveland, so we're talking Indians or Browns and, you know, being around here, my wife being from this area, talking Steelers and stay pretty connected with those things. And I, I love it. I, I think you it's... You weren't in Believe Land, though. I kept looking for you to show up and believe. <laughs> yeah, I like wasn't in Believe Land. I didn't shed any tears, so I wasn't in that one. So... Uh, <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's something that I, in all reality too, it's fun. You're still connected to the game. You get to think the game, you get to talk the game. Um, you hang with, uh, you know, Kevin Weeks is one of my good friends and that's probably one of the reasons why I saw what he's done in his, in his career with doing this and obviously having him at the NHL network has been fantastic. Great, um, kind of gauge for me of, of bouncing questions off of and seeing how it works. But, uh, the beautiful uh, part of it too is, you don't even got to be right what you're saying. You know what I mean? It might be better if you're wrong sometimes. So <laughs> it's like the weatherman. We know. You gotta be, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. But, you know, it's – it's. Um, I, I just love it. I love sitting around talking all sports, all things sports. So it's good. And right now, most of the guys you're watching and talking about, you've played with or against and know very well. Like 10 years from now, this might, might you might have to work harder. At, at, yeah, uh, I think that that's part of it is, you know, I, I love the fact that – I mean, I thought in game one, Paul Martin was unbelievable. He was, he was, he was great. I think he was, I'd say he's the best defenseman for both teams last night in that game. And you guys all know him well from when he played here. And I know him from playing with him here and playing with him for a number of years in New Jersey. And being able to have those things and know that the tendencies of a Paul Martin and, and the things that he brings to the table is, is something, yeah, obviously I'm going to use for this. Um, uh, and it's just great to just kind of have some tabs. I mean, I never thought playing for six teams would benefit you, but it has uh, for me doing this. So it's it, it's great to uh, still see those guys out there and having success. NHL Tonight with Mike Rupp. Make sure you watch before and after the games for the Cup Finals. The Pens take on the San Jose Sharks. Off night tonight, and they play game two tomorrow. The long-